Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is Tyranny Watch News. We're going to take a look at the invasion. This is invasion news for 20th July 2014. Um, one of the lead stories is former U.S. Border Patrol Deputy Chief Ronald Coburn reported that Southern Border Crossing was seeing the kind of chaos we saw along the border prior to 9/11. That one in five Illegal aliens today has a criminal record in appearance in appearance on Saturday's broadcast of Fox News channels Justice with Judge Janine. So what he's saying is twenty percent of these uh, so called children are crooks is what it amounts to. And this has got somebody who knows his business, so I think uh, we have to take him at his word. So we're at, we're having, I think, 20% of that 300,000 that came in, that means 60,000 criminals. That's just lovely. And there's more coming in. One in five of them are crooks, basically. Otherwise, how are things in the border, uh, border invasion? Well, Obama administration wants to put in Massachusetts uh, up to a thousand illegals in military bases or unused shopping malls in Massachusetts. So, they're what? They're gonna go, gonna be put into shopping malls and... I don't understand how they're going to house them in places like that, but... That's one of the things they're saying. It's from Breitbart. Generally speaking, not good. From the Daily Caller, White House knew this was coming. New data shows the White House has painted a false picture of the Central American migration by hiding a huge spike in family units who are illegally crossing the Texas border. Why am I not surprised? The so, these are whole families that are just walking in to this country. The number of migrants across the border and so-called family units has spiked fivefold to 55,420 according to Border Patrol's data which came out in the storm of news about the shoot-down of Malaysian aircraft in Ukraine, delays and failed U.S. nuke talks of Iran and Hamas's continued war with Israel. So the invasion on our southern border is still happening. It's just that it's been knocked out of uh, much of the news coverage because there are other things going on in the world. How convenient. Seems to happen every time Obama uh, has an international, has another scandal, all of a sudden this erupts. So Obama hid this, he knew about it. 
And there's a related story on the Washington Post. Obama aides were warned of brewing border crisis. I can't but wonder if it's inspired by the same story. But the word border patrol told them is one that amounts to 30 border patrol agents were assigned in August 2013 to drive children off to off-site showers, wash clothes, make them sandwiches. So, this has actually been going on for some time. And we knew about the, uh, We've known about the invasion for some time, but this has gotten way out of hand. This is a problem. This has been going on for some time, but now they're just walking in completely at will. Researchers' observations were among the warning signs conveyed to the Obama administration over the past two years. The surge of Central American miners has crossed into Texas illegally. More than 57,000 have entered the United States this year, swamping federal resources and catching government unprepared. Bull hockey. Obama knew about this and just said so. The administration did too little to heed these warnings, according to interviews with federal, former federal government officials, outside experts, and immigrant advocates, leading to an inadequate response that contributed to this summer's escalating crisis. Oh boy. <laughs> they knew about it, they didn't care. It's one of wants to. Federal officials, officials viewed the situation as a local problem uh, no, it's a national crisis. So there you have it. Obama knew about it. He's basically, as Mark Stein calls him, the coyote in chief. And there's a national day of protest. I haven't seen protests around here, but there are protests happening in all 50 states. Hundreds of people in North Texas and across the U.S. are holding a national day of protests or rallying against illegal immigration, amnesty, and border surge. There are 30 demonstrations, 34 demonstrations planned in Texas alone, including every major metropolitan city from El Paso to Houston. This is from uh, the khou.com news. People are sick of it, and this is not going to get any better either. So, we have this, and the Ukraine situation, and... The Israeli situation hasn't gotten any better either. There are protests about that. And this apparently is a, from what I'm reading, is a Houston, looks like a Houston radio or TV station. Probably ra radio. But there you have it. Protests are spreading. Our borders wide open, the illegals are just flooding across it in unbelievable numbers. And Obama heads to fundraisers and plays pool. I'm Artifacts of Mars. God help us. <laughs>